Church, it is Wednesday. It is a privilege for me to spend some time with you on our midweek special and just a couple of things before we get to our day's theme. Uh, tonight is our Momentum evening, our Momentum service at 7 o'clock. Don't miss that. Make sure it's going to be live, that you're tied into our Momentum service. Watch it with us. Grow with us. It's here on our Facebook page. And then secondly, if you haven't heard yet, I hope you have, we can now gather in person. So our link for our bookings is open. It's on our Facebook page. Please book a place uh, so that you can also come to church and grow with us and be together. Uh, please take the time to spend some time with us in one of our two services as well. Uh, but I spoke on Sunday, we spoke, we started with a new series, Who is Jesus? And I truly believe that all of us that are followers of Jesus, we want to be like Jesus. We want to emulate him, we want to reflect him, we want to walk in his heart and his character. But we can also, we can just do that if we know him, if we truly understand who Jesus was and who Jesus is. And this Sunday we started with, with one of the themes that Jesus, as the as the servant, Jesus functioned out of a place of, place of servanthood. He always wanted to serve. You go and read this in John 4, John 6, Mark 10. Jesus' heart wasn't to be served, but to serve. Jesus' heart was just to do the will of his Father, not his own will. And that was the example that he set. And on Monday and on Tuesday, I spoke on these two things, on truly being a servant in your families and being a servant in your community. Truly uh, truly taking the time to say, well, what can I do for my community and what where can I serve in my family? To truly walk in the footsteps of Jesus. But today I want to speak on this reality, being a servant in your church. Now, some of us watching this might not be in your doxa. You might be in different churches. But I really want to encourage you, all our Nidoxa members, but also for people outside of Nidoxa, that you will take the role of a servant in your local church. There are many churches not perfect. I know that. Our church isn't perfect. But we can get to a place where each and every one has said, my heart is set that I want to do the will of my Father and I just want to be a servant in His kingdom because it's His church. I understand that there's different denominations with different accent points. But if we, if you serve Jesus the Christ and you follow in His footsteps and you want to honor God with your life and you are sealed in the Holy Spirit, we all are family, we're part of the same church. We might have different gathering points and different denominations with different views on certain things. But the reality is we are part of the, of the greater church of Jesus Christ. And in that church, we all need to be servants. In, in, in Ephesians 5 verse 25, the Bible says the following, Jesus loves his church so much that he laid down his life for her. He uses the example that a husband must love his wife in that way, in the example that Jesus said, that he loves his church so much that he laid down his life. What an example of servanthood. So where God has placed you in your church, and for us, our people here at New Doxa, may you make a decision, a fresh decision. I'm here to serve. I'm ready to take my time, my energy, my skills, my giftings, my finances, my resources. Here I am, Lord, use me. Some of us have a lot of time. Some of us have a lot of skill. Um, some of us have more resources than others. But really take it, Father, in your kingdom, I want to use what you've given me, my talents, my skill, my time, my energy. I want to use it so that your name will be glorified and your kingdom will grow. And this local church where you have placed me, where you have placed me, I will be a place where I will truly want to be a servant. I don't want to seek my own fame or build my own name or even seek my own way. I want to be at a place where I truly serve your kingdom. Jesus set the example by laying down his life for his church. What an example that we can follow that the church where God has placed, you say, Father, here I am. Churches isn't perfect. Uh, our church isn't perfect. But Im imagine what the local church could look like globally. If men and women and family says, I'm not here because at the end of it, it's about glorifying God and so that others can come to the knowledge of his greatness. It's not about me. It's about him. It's about his will and his plan. Imagine what the church can be and do if every Christian around the world decides to be exclusively a servant in their local church. I know we're all going to do that. And I know it, it, it presses you deep in your heart. May the Lord bless you in this day. And I'll see you tonight at 7 o'clock. God bless. Bye.